Warning! The following video is intended for viewers 13 years and older. Viewer discretion is advised. You're here. You're ready. Welcome to my world. Welcome back YouTube, it's I'm Ghost of Sparta and I'm here with another fantastic review from you guys of the Mesco Toys Spider-Man Far From Home Stealth Suit Edition. This is a pack of PX exclusive, a preview exclusive, and I have to say this figure is amazing. I, I don't know how else to put it. Sorry for my voice. I don't know, I just woke up with it sounding like this, so if, I don't know if it sounds better or does it sound worse. Let me know in the comments of what you guys think. So we're gonna go over this guy's accessories. We're gonna go over this guy's articulation. We're gonna go over his costume. Yes, his costume, not paint apps, his legit costume. It's actually fabric and I love when toy companies use actual fabric for these. So we're gonna go over that as well. Uh, make sure to check out my social media, guys. I post up a lot of stuff on my Instagram, on my Facebook, also my Twitter, so that way you guys can stay up to date with the channel. So check out the links below in the description and also check out in the description if you wanted to know how to start up your own YouTube channel I have links in there for the camera I use the background I use the lights I use everything that I currently use right now you could see that below and if you do purchase it it would help out the channel but at no extra cost to you you still get the great value from Amazon but it also helps out the channel now this is not a sponsored video because I pay for all my stuff off all the things I review for myself so without further ado and I got all that craziness out of the way let's get to this review and see if this figure is worth being on your shelf so we got stealth suit spider-man with Marvel Legends Deadpool stealth suit spider-man with SH figure arts Goku stealth suit spider-man with NECA predator so now that we have the size comparisons out of the way we could take a look at this figure in a much closer intimate look now this figure has some nice articulation which we'll go over in a bit but let's take a look at the actual costume as you can see as i raise his arm up there's no you don't see any joints you don't see any you know elbow joint you don't see any knee joint it's completely covered in actual fabric that is supposed to mimic the sneaking suit from far from home the only thing that's plastic would be his head because he does have an interchangeable head that we'll go over in the accessories um, what's cool about this is go over this real fast you can actually flip up the eyes so that way you could see mr peter parker's little sad puppy dog eyes so i thought that was pretty neat that they offered that as an accessory in a, in a sense but this figure has complete cloth all the way around it looks great the detail is fantastic they're able to capture like all the webbing all the little fibers it literally looks like he's wearing like a Kevlar-ish type suit, in my opinion. Another thing that's plastic is his fists. They're not gloves or anything like that. So they're able to, you know, be interchangeable because he does have a few pairs of hands that will go over. So that's pretty neat. You know, I, I like that. Now, as if we're being accurate, I have no idea. I mean, from what I remember from the movie, it looks accurate to me. I mean, it has all the nice detail. It has the line work. It has great great fabric i mean you can't get over it. the belt has all the great stuff on it you can see all the little things that they he's able to store his web shooters he's able to have all that right there so it's pretty neat this figure is a is really nice for the fact that it uses a bunch of cloth material to cover the figure in the actual costume it makes me believe that there is a person inside this so let's get to everybody's favorite part which is the goal of the articulation head moves up moves down swivel arm rotation hinge bicep swivel bend at the elbow wrist swivel and a hinge diaphragm joint back forward side to side waist swivel leg kicks up kicks back we have a spider uh -huh. spread bend at the knee thigh swivel ankle swivel hinge now with stealth suit spider-man he does come with five uh, excuse me four pairs of interchangeable hands there's one pair missing which is the fisted hands that are already on him and you guys already seen that so i have right here from left to right it's a slightly open palm hand he has his spider whipping hands and then he has what looks like to be uh fisted hands but they're not these are actually um spider web holding hands there's an accessory that we're going to go over in a little bit but you're able to actually slide the web through there so that way it looks like he's swinging which is 
really neat you know that they offer that so that way you can pose him in there you can see it goes all the way through um just i don't think they the fingers open up too well yeah i guess you would have to bend it a little bit uh if you were to you try to put the webbing in there that we're going to go over in the accessories i would definitely recommend probably using some hot water so that way you can kind of slide it in there so those are the hands he comes with as for the detail in the hands let's take a look at them together so it's a fingerless glove we could see some nice detail with the uh, fingers as they have the joints in there, but they're not articulated. You can also see that the bottom of the glove does have some detail. There is some sculpt work in there. And also on the top, you can see that they try to give that fiber look to it. So not bad. There is somewhat of a fingernail on there. You can barely see it, but you can't, you can't go wrong with the amount of detail that they are already put in there. So let's take a look at the rest of the accessories. So the rest of the accessories he comes with is all of his uh, web beans, I guess you want to call it, or webs that he gets. He does come with a great face sculpt of Mr. I, damn it, I forgot his name. Um, Toby? No, not Toby. Andrew? No, not Andrew. Uh, uh, Tom Holland. There we go. Tom Holland, that's his name. We have a beautiful head sculpt of Tom Holland in his... I guess beat up form you know he has a scuff mark there that's all bloody the hair is sculpted beautifully you can see the nice light brown shading they were able to put in on certain uh areas of the face which i thought is pretty neat and it captures his likeness very well he also comes with a faced webbing i guess you could put that on another figure so that way it looks like you know he did some web action on their face and covered it to be able to distract them from them not be able to see his getaway or something like that and all of this is like pliable plastic it's not hard but it does have a stiffness to it we also have a whipping web here i mean a lot of this feels like wire hanger i mean it's, it's pliable but i wouldn't mess with it too much because it can break i'm trying to get this one to focus but it is kind of tough due to the fact of how thin it is there we go so you can see that it's all wound up. It looks really nice. You know, you're able to peg it onto his um, wrist peg. So you just take off his hand, slide this in the peg, and then put his hand above, right over the peg. And then we have this one where I guess you could look like he's about to attach to something, to someone, because it has like this little pocket in there. And the detail on it looks really nice. The paint that they put on it. I mean, I don't know if this was sculpted or molded in the white plastic that it's in but i'm pretty sure they painted over it and then we have this piece here which is really long and it's bendable and pliable so it's basically a bendy wire that you can attach to anywhere you want and it's able to connect um, another accessory that it did come with which i thought was pretty interesting was this little magnet here so you could use this to attach somewhere and have them swing on it i mean I wouldn't use this as the connection point because the figure weighs too much and so any slight little weight will be able to pull it off but it does have this so you can be able to have him do his wall crawling and things like that so you attach that there and last but not least this figure comes with a nice little base with the homecoming logo of the sneaking suit or spider monkey as he was known it's really neat he comes with an adjustable arm so that way you can be able to pose him in acrobatic moves or you can pose him while he's web slinging. So that does it for the accessories. Let's get back to the figure itself. So the million dollar question is, do I like this figure? And to be honest, yeah, I do. This figure is amazing to the fact that this company was able to be able to pack all that articulation into clothes, which is more realistic. It gives you more of a realistic vibe. You know, I know that you CGI and other things like that, but it gives you an idea of what the human body can do. I mean, you can see from the various poses I have it in that it can get it done. Like you can pretty much get into any Spider-Man pose that you are looking to get him in to be able to fit, you know, your diorama or whatever scene you want to do. Now, there are some gripes of this figure. Some of the gripes have to do with the costume, obviously the belt. It's not flush or it doesn't look right. It does, you know, crimple and stretch and things like that. But that's going to happen when you're using a costume. But other than that, the figure's accessories, the, the way this figure is sculpted, the articulation is phenomenal. And I really do love this figure. It's a great pickup. If you guys haven't picked it up yet, I would definitely recommend picking it up. 
you know so if you guys like that please hit that like button guys subscribe subscribing is very important i'm trying to get to my goal of a thousand subscribers before the end of the year and i need your guys' support to be able to do that let me know in the comments also what did you think of this review or if there's anything you'd like to maybe input that they should have changed i would really like to hear from you guys a lot so please feel free to comment anytime during the video um, and make sure to hit that bell icon so that way you guys don't miss any future videos from me yours truly i'm ghost of sparta because what i do is i review action figures so that way you guys know if it's worth spending that coin for your shelf and with all that said i will see you guys on the next review